Good morning, my friends, from my chilly mountains in early February 2023. It's minus eight outside, and uh, I actually got the wrong um, direction in the car. So I have to restart everything, but sh will I restart the video? I don't think so. So, for those who don't know me, I'm a Swiss best-selling writer. My books deal about survival, survival in the economic difficult times that we're entering, survival in the cities, survival against nuclear, bacteriological, chemical uh, warfare and uh, incidents. All these books were written before the pandemics, by the way, um, and other books as well, of course. Now, I've been, um, I've been working uh, over the writing of my books with interviewing people. And a few years back, I did interview Andrew Tate. And of course, have you, as you've seen in the last six months, he has become the most um, searched, probably one of the most uh, known people in the universe, in the internet for sure. And um, I wanted to, to say a few things about, about him as I interviewed him and I met him in uh, Budapest, no, in Bucharest. I always confuse those two, why? I don't know. Uh, a few years back. Now, let me say something. I found all the things that have been said on Andrew Tate extremely disturbing because they are wrong. There are some which may be true, but what has been said on the internet has been wrong. So I want to, first of all, give him my support because every man, every free man especially, should have the chance to clean his name in front of his peers, in front of justice, and in front of the media, which are always very fast into accusing people and very slow to admit when they're wrong, which is almost every single time. So to give you the background, I think it was 2018, I was researching my book on uh, my grandfather's uh, ordeal through World War II, uh, which ended up into a novel, which I think is very nice. It's available in English, by the way. All my books, almost all my books are available in many languages, including English. And I remember I was in München and uh, I heard about Andrew Tate. I was very curious about what he was doing, um, especially his uh, views on freedom and um, a little bit about women, but mostly on freedom. And I did an interview of him, I think it was February 2018, and the video is still on. If you check on my YouTube channel and you, and you, you check that interview, you can listen to him. And my impression, I didn't know him, of course, never met him before, was that he was a quite mellow person, very smart. Of course, I checked his uh, his background, and of course, he has a he has a, you know an American uh, father who was a master check player, chess player, and uh, a British a British English uh, mother. And um, and I think it was very interesting to see this this dual uh, um, origins, how they shaped his personality. And um, I think he must have, you can perceive he must have had a difficult childhood, but he overcame that. And I really appreciate people that overcome difficulties and difficult times in their life. This is what makes you stronger. You know, when Nietzsche said, wrote, uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, it, it can also make, make you a cripple, but it definitely does uh, sound true. And we all went through, you, me, everyone went through difficult times. And it's only through difficult times that you learn. And you can feel that when you talk with, uh, with Andrew Tate. Uh, you know, and this discussion was very honest, very open. And he, I think he gives, he gives some insights and some wisdom, which are pretty good for someone of his age. He's today 36, I believe. So he was uh, 2018, that's minus four. Uh, that's, uh, that's 32, 30. Uh, that's... The insights he had on life were, were really good for someone his age. I'm 52, so uh, and at the time I was 50. So, or, or was it 49? Oh no, less 48. Ah, time flies. Anyways, um, it was very interesting. I, I encourage you to to see this interview. But more importantly, I met him. I think that through the year in the summer, I was visiting my um, one of my best friends, my best friend in, uh, in Bucharest, in Romania. And I sent an email to, to Andrew Tate. He always responds to email, at least to me, for sure. And uh, this was just at the beginning when he started his great business idea, the War Room. I think it's a wonderful idea. 
and uh, and so I said, hey, I'm I'm in I'm in Bucharest. Let's meet. And so he said, yeah, I invite you for dinner. And I said, I'm with my friends. Yeah, bring her over. And we met with uh, with uh, with some people that were visiting him in uh, in Bucharest also at the same time. We went to a wonderful restaurant. We had a very good meat. Uh, very nice. I insisted to pay, but he invited me. So thanks again. And um, in fact, there were some people I knew <laughs> in that in that uh, dinner. I was surprised to see a guy I knew from another another time that was visiting also Andrew Tate. Anyway, we had a very good time, uh, and um, Tristan Tate, the brother, was also there. I must say that I I get along very well with uh, Tristan. I think. He's the kind of guy I would befriend very easily. I must say more than more than Andrew. I think he's a very, he's probably a more sensible, more sensitive, perhaps more subtle person. But anyway, I didn't have the chance to talk too much to him. But I had a good feeling with him. And Andrew Tate too. However, I must say something. Andrew Tate is very very smart. You can feel he's a he's a chess player. But you can also see that. When he's online, when he's in front of media, of course, he brags. He's a larger-than-life character, and and this is of course something that you play as a as I do when I do my conferences, as a lot of people who are in public do. However, in private, he's very quiet, very thoughtful. He doesn't interrupt you when he talks. He talks very slowly and uh, thoughtfully. And so this is a sign of in superior intelligence, in in my in my opinion. And I was very. He doesn't want to be the center of attention. He doesn't want to be always talking and yakking. And no, he listens when you talk. He's curious. He asks good questions. He asks questions about my approach to survivalism, my approach to how you prepare for difficult times. He pondered about my questions. He actually asked to read my books. I sent them to his mother address. I never know. I don't know if he ever received them, but uh, I think not. But because I think they went back, it must have been something wrong in the postal service. You know, third world countries like the UK don't work as they used to be anymore. So it was a very good discussion. My friend, she's a, she's a, Tina. She actually said because he was with her, his girlfriend. A very beautiful uh, Slovakian girl, very intelligent, also very thoughtful, very well dressed, which is a sign of intelligence for a woman. You know, it's important. And she was very uh, polite, which is also a very good sign of of, of intelligence, and is a good sign for Andrew Tate to choose his girlfriend or girlfriends, but for sure girlfriend, with um, which is a sign of intelligence because if you choose vulgar and gross and misbehaved girlfriends it's a sign of a weak being a weak man or a needy man and um, choosing a girl who knows how to behave who's smart who's beautiful that's a sign of uh, someone who knows what he's doing and um, and so I, I remember that my friend was saying wow this is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen uh, probably <laughs> probably probably this is true she was a very beautiful girl. I think that's the one who, who has been uh, said to be accusing him of misbehavior. That's bullshit. You could feel that there was love and you could feel that whatever they do in the bedroom, it's a game. It's not coercion. It's not rape. It's not... Uh, I mean, guys, uh, for those of you who have experienced, you know the shit girls like to be done to them, right? And you know it's a game. And you know you wouldn't do that. And so he was very polite to her. He was very a gentleman to her, to my friend, which uh, which is a friend of 20 years for me. And um, so we had a very wonderful evening. And I must really say that it's impossible that this guy is um, uh, is a bad person. Now I don't know anything about the, what he's been accused. I don't know anything of if there is any proof against him. So I will not even talk about something I have no idea and I have no knowledge of but I must say that as a person he was very kind very mellow very thoughtful very respectful and as a pure gentleman both to me to my friend to other friends and to his girlfriend as well as being a very good host I really insisted to pay but he invited us all 
and uh, him and Tristan were perfect gentlemen and hosts. So, as far as I know, he deserves our respect and our support. That's all I had to say. But, uh, you know, I count nothing. I just have a few dozens of thousands of followers here on YouTube, mostly are in French language. No one knows me in the English world. Um, but I've, I have my experience, I've been around and I've met thousands and thousands of people. And you know, after a while, you know, you can always be wrong, but usually you are a good judge of character. And as far as I'm concerned, I think he's a good guy. So, Andrew Tate, if you ever see this, you have my support and you know, you always answer my emails. I may send you an email saying that uh, when you're out of jail, it's my turn to invite you, perhaps in Switzerland, uh, for a good dinner. Take care, and to all of you, get ready because the times are tough. Take care. Ciao.